Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. My name is Roberta. This is our flipping family. I did YouTube videos for a little while. Well, our family did. Um, under Gulf Winds, Bama Gulf Winds, Alabama Gulf Winds. We have changed the name a couple of times. Right now it's our flipping family. We've been trying to do this for a long time, but something always gets in the way. And we've been trying to go back to it, but every time I pick up the camera, my hair's a mess, I have no makeup on, I have a work shirt on, which I'm trying to hide the logo, that you can't tell what I do. Um, but they don't like us showing our logos, you know, online. Um, but, uh, that is a story for another day. Um, but my ultimate goal is to quit this company and to resell full time. I did before in the past. Um, I accidentally got this job. How you accidentally get a job? Like I said, story for another time. Um, and then I accidentally went full time. <laughs> Only I can do that, right? So, anyway, I'm back and I'm going to start with a haul, a free haul that one of my wonderful son in laws I have two and they're both great. Um, he gave me all this stuff yesterday. So, I can't wait to show you what it is. Hey, y'all. My name is Roberta. I played with YouTube for a little while, a while back, like years ago. Um, but I never like stuck with it and I really enjoyed it and I miss those days. So I'm back and I thought the best way to come back is to show a free haul that my wonderful son-in-law brought me. He found some stuff in his boss's trash and he saw this box and it says grandma's china. Oh, I don't know if that shows very well. Grandma's china. It's really heavy. And he's like, dude, that's not trash. And he said, it is to me. He was getting divorced. And him and his wife said they just wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So, he said, well, can I have it? And he said, sure. And he said, well, I'm going to give it to my mother-in-law because he is such a great son-in-law. Um, let me start by saying, though, that we've been selling on eBay since 2015, I believe. And I have wanted to get back on YouTube. But every time I go to start again it's like I don't have the right lighting or I have a work shirt on and I don't want to show my logo because the logo police might get me um that's why I put mail across here um I could change my shirt I could put makeup on I could fix my hair but all of that stopped me from doing YouTube in the past and I'm just tired of sitting around and just not doing it so I'm just gonna have my hair a mess not have makeup on because I just got off work cover my logo up you can figure it out if you want to figure it out. That's, there's a long story to this company that we'll get into later. Um, if you want to stick around and hear it. Not today. Maybe another day. Today wasn't, wasn't a good day. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you what my wonderful son-in-law gave me for free. This box is really heavy. And it is full of these. They're very dirty. But this is Stratford Mikasa Japan Nita. L900, that's either an 8 or a B. My eyes are awful. And it's Summer Melody. It says Fine Porcelain China. I don't really like to sell dishes. I don't know much about them, but for free, I guess we'll try. Oh, let me try to put this box down. There's not much room in here. This is my garage that we turned into an office, and it's super full. Also in that box was, or in those boxes, there's four boxes. This very ratty tatty hippopotamus. I don't know if he is anything. I can't tell what brand he is. He's so worn. So either somebody kept him for a reason, like he was somebody's lovey, or maybe rodents got into it. I, I don't know. I don't know, but there's that. There's also this box that says wine glasses and decanter. Um, it says Swiss Colony on it, so I guess maybe that's where they came from. I don't know. To me, I kind of think it's a, um, maybe this was a wedding present that was never used. I don't want to take them all out because this styrofoam is, like, disintegrating. But I will take one out. Oh. And it's this etched, etched pattern. There's the decanter and the little top and the wine glasses. Put this chip and dip glass dish. This was probably also a wedding present. 
I think these are like a dime a dozen. I think there's a lot of these out there and I don't think they're worth much. So, either keep it, sell it, or donate it. That's what my son-in-law said. There was a couple of purses. He said there was a box of purses, but rodents did get in them. This is a little gold tone purse. It's got this strap. Make it a shoulder bag. I don't see Brandon here. I do not see Brandon here. I believe it's new though. I mean, it looks like it's never been used. But he said that there was just probably a little over a dozen purses and they um, were not in very good shape when he got to the box. There's this beaded purse. We have Mardi Gras down here, so we have a lot of Mardi Gras balls. So these are pretty easy to find. This one says U.S. Patent. Y and S is the tag inside. That's cute. It's got the magnetic closure. That's really cute. There's also this. It doesn't have the top to it, so I don't know if it's worth anything at all. I don't know much about this metal. It says made in England, EPB something. I'm not sure. And then there's two green candle holders. Is this little bowl may contain lead ornamental vases something like that there's this Japanese ginger jar Probably get about 25 for that. I know that because I've sold some ginger jars before. There's this coconut, and my son in law was like, Nobody's gonna want that. But I looked it up, and they're selling for like 25 bucks. This one has some um, paint rub right there, but it says Aloha Hawaii, and it's a coconut painted like a football. Who doesn't want that, right? And then just a couple of cheap candle things and the two chargers. And then my favorite thing, oh my gosh, I love this. I love it. I love it. I wish I knew more about it. Make sure that's all. Yeah, that's it. Um, this asymmetrical bowl. Is this not gorgeous? I wish it had a marking on it because I do not know glass. No marking. But how beautiful is that? Now it does have, where's that? Right there. A little nick right there. Just a little nick. But this rim, you can tell it's good quality. Just the rim is just smooth and it kind of goes up. It's thick and then it kind of goes thinner. But I don't know anything about clear glass. Clear glass, and I did do a um, um, reverse image search on Google, and I didn't find anything. Didn't find anything at all. But it, kind of, it reminds me of cotton candy, right here. You know what this would be? This would make a beautiful sink. You know those sinks that they use bowls for? I would love to have this as a sink. So if anybody knows anything about this glass, I would really appreciate it if you leave me a comment and um, share with me, because I don't know, there's no markings. If I, if, I, if I made stuff, I would put a marking on it. Why do you make something so beautiful and not put your signature or brand name? You know, why not? Look at, just look at that, that is gorgeous. Look at that swirl, isn't that beautiful? Thanks for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, 
I will be back with more hauls. We're going to try to do two videos a week, Sundays and Wednesdays, maybe. Does that sound like a good plan? I'm not sure. Anyway, stop back by. You'll meet Mr. Flippin' Family and my youngest, who is also a part of this.